We got the Grand Cherokee. All right, it's a nice Grand Cherokee. It's kind of unassuming, super nice, but nothing too wild. Of course, if you've got Bobby Gately here, you know there's something different about it. Let's open it up and check it out. You know it's got a sick system if he's involved, always. Um, what you working with? Got a little something. Kick these lights on for you. Hold on, no lights yet. Oh, Let me look at this. Okay, okay. <laughs> the lights are just the icing on the cake. That looks like diamonds. Did you flame polish that after you carved it? Nope, that's just how clean the, the cutter cuts it. What kind of subs are these? Sundown Audio Nightshade 15s. Okay, all I see is myself in the reflection. Here we go. Sundown Nightshade 15s. Damn. Let's see those damn lights. It's broad daylight, so it's going to be tough to see probably, but... Ooh. Shit. Look at that thing. It's glowing in all the right places. That's what I love about that logo. So it's really hard to see with the reflections on camera, but those nightshade 15s are no joke. What are you powering these things with? Salt AK wired at 1 ohm. Salt AK wired at 1 ohm, and then what about on the highs? It's got the Salt 500.4 running uh, two sets of Focal K2 power components. Can we open up some doors and check out the amps? Of course, a salt amp is also a sundown. So a bunch of sky high wire. This thing's got a bunch of four aught uh, as well because the retro 56 is under the driver's seat of this thing. What's a retro 56? Uh, limitless lithium retro okay. 56 battery. All right. The, the factory batteries are under the passenger seat. And there was a big open area under the driver's seat with a little bit of modifications to the floor. We were able to put that retro 56 there out of the way sick it's got a helix dsp that's actually installed in where the factory sub used to be along with all the focal uh crossovers over there somewhere yeah hidden behind where that factory sub was on the on the right side what's under the hood anything special it's a little mech man enormous alternator yeah it looks stock yet super clean because look at those wires just kind of poking out we got a Mechman alternator down here. Look at that. Some more sky high wire. How big is this alternator? I think it's a 370. A 370, nice. Damn. I, I could be wrong, maybe a 320. Three, one of those 300 two. plus is pretty solid. All right, so down here, of course, we got some SMD fusing. It's hard to see, but it's there. Got a little grounding bar on the other side. And to top it all off, Sundown sound ending everywhere. Yeah, there's 13 sheets of the new uh, uh, Vibraflex Sundown product. Um, and you got to superheat it with a torch, but uh, this thing's amazing. The, the, the doors, if you like give it a tap on the door, it's hard as a rock. And this thing has hardly any flex outside the vehicle and it pounds like crazy. And there's minimal rattle, even though we got, you know, 8,000 watts on 215s. Have you done anything to the roof at all? Oh, a little something. <laughs> What'd you do? We got a uh, uh, one-inch Baltic birch ply with laminated to the roof, all the way across the whole roof. You can't even see it at all. No, they one-inch birch laminated to the roof. <laughs> Sound like some mid-bass. Damn. Knocking on the front door of a house, oh, an dude. expensive house. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't have even guessed that you have all that under there. That's dope. I believe your uh, customer is going to be very happy, and I haven't even heard this thing yet. Hey, can I hear it though? No. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I can. Good. <laughs> yeah. Look at that thing. Oh. And that down there appears to be some sort of a port. Yeah, the port comes here. Just comes around right here. This thing's like super duper bolted to the truck. I mean, I don't even have to hear this thing and I already know what this is going to sound like because that port is in such an ideal location. The low has got to be tremendous. It digs. It digs. 
Uh, high tech. Fancy. Fancy. So this is one thing I love about this build is there's a nice box in the back, but other than that, it looks completely stock. That's exactly what he asked for. He asked me to try my best to make it like completely stock other than the big ass box in the back. So we, we did exactly that. We got the Helix down here. Mm -hmm. At least the controller for the yeah, Helix. I think they call that a commander. Okay. Like that. Very clean, very clean. Obviously it hides. Yep, sure does. Very nice. And um, real quick, what did you say was in the doors? Focal K2, I think they might be called K2 Power. Six and a half and, and tweeter components. Two sets, front and rear. Nice. Very, very, very clean. Okay, that shit sounds really good. It's digging deep. I can feel it in my ear canals. The only problem is, is that when I'm making these videos, I can't let these songs play for very long because I'm going to get hit with copyright. All right, man, I know you came over here just to drop off a couple of them badass Gately audio amps for me to check out. But, uh, you know, you no day's complete out. without a demo. Yeah. That shit sounds good. It looks good. Top-notch pro shit, as always. Customer's going to be super happy with it. Um, thanks for the demo. Thank you, buddy. Yeah. yeah.